Hello everybody, it's Peter, Peter the Rock. It's a Saturday and uh, I'm walking along a path which has been rejuvenated not very far from the Grand Union Canal and here is a beautiful horse. Aren't you a wonder? Look, look at the marvellousness of this horse. I, I mean, uh, I would say that a horse is a man's best friend. Uh, coming over to me, sort of inquiring if I've got a snack or something, but I haven't really. Um, but there isn't just one horse. There's a little collection of horses here. This is a path from the Grand Union Canal to the Frays River. It was always a very run-down path, but now it's been tidied up, like a lot of paths in the whole of this area, uh, south East Chilterns and southeast of the Chilterns. There is a magnificent beast. Um, I have ridden horses, but not lately. Uh, I went on a <laughs> I went on a pony trekking weekend in Wales once, and um, my friend she she had a horse that was a, had a bit of a bit of a personality. Let's put it that way and sort of didn't really respond to her commands very, very uh, uh, eagerly. I think the horse was called Blackie. Often horses are called something simple like that. Anyway, to cut a long story short, at one point, towards the end of the weekend, um, it got fed up with her, or she got fed up with it, it and it threw her. She was all right. She landed on some sort of soft ground, rather like this. This is a, this is a classic Peter the Rock boggy bit. You don't get much boggier than that. Those of you who've seen previous videos will know that I abhor boggy bits. Luckily, this path is non-boggy. Now, this horse is kind of, they like to scratch themselves on branches. This particular branch looks in imminent danger of actually falling down. It's only very thin and spindly. Uh, the horses look well fed. Um, I'm not sure that they, you know, that who feeds them or whether they just eat the grass. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, they're here from time to time. This is a wonderful tree. It's quirky. The boughs stretch off in all sorts of different directions balancing each other out, of course, as nature demands. And uh, I don't know what type of tree it is. It looks pretty old to me. Some of the bark's got knocked off. Uh, that's the sort of tree that, you know, should you be interested in climbing a tree, I think you would have a good, you'd do well uh, to get up this one. Uh, so there we are. It's a Saturday, it's the 28th of September. There's my shadow. Uh, you can probably hear a motorway. It's right at the start of the M40 over there, um, which will tell you exactly where I am. And there's a, a view backwards of a clutch of horses, uh, horses. I don't know what you call a group of horses. A posse. Um, I just don't know. So there we are, Peter Rook the Rock is not only, con my viewing is not only confined to colourful buses in Reading, but colourful horses near Uxbridge. This, these boggy bits go on and on. Uh, and rather nicely, they've actually altered the, uh, the line of the fence. So it goes round this particular tree which is under attack by ivy. Uh, it's the bane of any tree grower's life, ivy. And I'm often tempted when I see a tree covered in ivy to rip the ivy off. But I think it's a kind of thankless task. I'm, it's the first time I've been along this path since it's been renovated. So it's a kind of semi-new experience or semi-old experience. Uh, anyway, for those of you who like horses, come here because you'll see a few. Um, 
quite often. I would say not all the time, but uh, they seem pretty friendly, pretty happy, uh, which is a good thing. So there we are. Uh, it's Peter the Rock. It's Saturday, the 28th of September. Uh, smile, like, and subscribe. It all costs nothing. Thank you very much. Cheers.